Today I'm gonna to be making a chocolate pudding cake. This is from the Southern Living Magazine January 2016 edition. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you all the ingredients that you need. Um, you will notice that some of these I have already split up, uh, but uh, I'm gonna give you the total of the amounts of the ingredients you need. So you need um, one cup of flour, you need three fourths cup sugar. So Which is split. it's yes, it's divided. You need one fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa. You need two teaspoons of baking powder. You need a fourth teaspoon of salt, which I have in with my cocoa. Uh, you need a half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of unsalted butter melted, one teaspoon of vanilla. You need a baking spray with the flour, which is the Baker's Joy, and you just wanna, you have a nine by nine inch pan, which is what we call a brownie pan. Go ahead and spray your brownie pan with the Baker's Joy. You need a fourth cup of packed brown sugar, one and a fourth cups of strong hot coffee, which we just made this, and you need uh, nine tablespoons of whipped toppings, such as Cool Whip. I don't have that out right now because I don't need to get it out yet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350, spray your pan, like I said. You're going to take um, your flour and your uh, sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, baking powder, and salt in a bowl and then stir it with a whisk. And the sugar is half a cup of the sugar. Yes, it's only half a cup of the sugar. You had to divide it out, half a cup of the sugar. So this recipe is a little bit different because they tell you everything you need up front, but then you have to read on in the directions and make sure that um, you've divided it out the way that they want you to. So I did notice too, there's, there's no egg or anything in this recipe. So I thought that was neat. Okay, so now you want to take um, your, your milk, butter, and uh, vanilla and add that to your bowl. This would be a good recipe for someone that doesn't own a, um, a mixer because there's, there's no mixer required either. I think you could use one, but I think you'll see that it's, it's not necessary. Now you take the, this mixture and put it in the bottom of your pan. So now you take your remaining sugar and your brown sugar and your remaining cocoa and you want to mix these in a bowl uh, together. Now you take this whole mixture and you sprinkle it over the top. Now you take your coffee, your hot coffee, and you want to pour it over the top. And at this point, you do not stir. You do not stir it at all. You just leave it just like this. And you want to bake it at 350 for 28 to 30 minutes. So this is how it looks when it comes out. It is not completely set, so it, it does like if you, um, Kevin took the pot holder, I was gonna show you. Uh, that's okay. It, um, it, it's like, like it will move freely in the pan. It has a liquid in it. Yeah, but it is a pudding, it is not a cake. Um, the top is set though. The, yeah, the top is completely set though. So what you do now is you wait 10 minutes and then we're gonna add some Cool Whip to it. It has been 10 minutes. It says to use a light Cool Whip. I don't know why, I'm sure you could use regular Cool Whip too, but the recipe said light. And it says to put nine 
uh, tablespoons of this on here. So let's see if it covers it up with, with nine. So this is how it looks. I don't know if you can see. You see it right there. Get another piece here. It reminds me kind of like a like a cobbler or something. It's not supposed to be um, firm. It, it, there's supposed to be some cake to it and some liquid to it as well. And you have a picture a closer, better picture than this video is gonna be. Yes. Okay, the way the article described it in Southern Living, it says warm, gooey, and rich with chocolatey goodness. This dessert is perfect for a cozy winter night. And of course, we're not in winter right now, but I was looking through these old magazines and this just sounded really good. I did not have a picture to go by, so I had no idea what it was supposed to look like in the end. It looks good. Um, but yes, uh, it looks really good. And it says um, there are nine servings in the, um, you're supposed to get nine servings, which makes sense if you split it three, three, and three. Yeah, and if, if you're putting a dollop of Cool Whip, right. see, that makes more sense now. So you could have scooped out nine servings and put just and a, put the put a little bob on each of one, cool on each instead one instead of in the whole pan. Instead of spreading it. Ah, oh, uh, that makes sense now. But it doesn't say doesn't that. Say that. Yeah. The directions do not um, specify Sometimes that. Sometimes directions are better than others. Yeah, these directions um, I wasn't as impressed with, but it wasn't hard. But now I know for next time if I like this. It's not as wet as I thought it was going to be. No, but I tell you what, it's very interesting with that coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. It's good though. I tell you what, I can eat that all day. I haven't had any with the Cool Whip yet. Oh yeah, that's what I've been eating. Well, I had a piece over to the side. Huh. The Cool Whip just has like a little creaminess to it. It's I actually do like really that. Good. Yes, I do like that very, very much. And the coffee is there. But it's not like a really overpowering coffee. And no, the coffee that we put in there seemed to be very strong. Yes, so. it is strong coffee. And you could have, I could have let this cook for a little while longer. I don't know that it needed though, because the cake on the bottom it. is perfect. No, it is perfect. I think this is the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's supposed to be a, a, a wetter, a moister dessert. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's perfect. I think it was really cool that it went into the oven complete liquid i yeah. mean it's yeah, you like, gotta be careful when you're putting it in because it'll flip it over yeah it's like how in the world is this going to turn into anything because it looks like you just poured the coffee pot into the pan and then it came out looking like brownies but you have to be careful taking it out too because it, it will, will it will yeah. slide around in that pan because you greased it um but this was a good dessert yeah, and it was really easy. Yeah. Very easy to make and I can understand where it would be perfect for a warm winter night or something to have with a cup of hot chocolate or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's not as chocolate as I thought it would be. Though. No, it's mainly, honestly, it's to me it's like a coffee dessert. Yeah. It, yeah. it, it, and it's a little coffee. I mean, a little chocolate there, but it's not as chocolatey as I thought it was. Right. It's and well, you're using um, unsweetened cocoa, so you you have a little bit of that, but it's mainly the because mainly it's so much flavor. coffee. Yeah. yeah. It's good though. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.